Today's video, we're going to show you how to stop pretty much every meta run in Madden 24, at least from under center, so that you can have a really, really good defensive system. Now, we're going to first start out with wing slot out of the Colts playbook. We're going to get into some other playbooks as well. So we're going to be going over a lot of different runs using really the same principle. And just wanted to do this. I haven't done a run defense video in a while, and I actually feel pretty decent finally against the run. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to first start with this stretch alert bubble out of single back wing slot. And the primary defense we're going to be utilizing when they go to an under center run set is the 4-3 even 6-1 for this video. If you guys want to get my full 6-1 defensive ebook, it's been completely revamped and updated in our Patreon. It's only $10 to get it, and the link's going to be down in the description. And this defense is really good right now. There's a lot of zero AP lurk artists. It's a lot of um, having deep out zone and mid zone and all that stuff that really helps the defense. And the linebackers are so fast now that they are really, in my opinion, just the best players on the field. These uh, It's kind of funny how Madden works, but with the zero AP lurk artists, I think linebackers are probably the best because they're big, they're strong, they're better against the run. And uh, at this point in the year, they're very fast. So... Anyways, let's get into it. First, we'll show you how to stop single back wing slot stretch alert bubble. Okay, so coaching adjustments. Auto flip defense play call is going to be off. Auto alignment is going to be set to base. Option defense is going to be on conservative. And then what I like to tell people is you can have 20, 25 yard curl flats if you wanted to just to help with some coverage stuff. But really, zone coverage can be on default and match if you put the zone drops here. If you don't put zone drops here, so let's say you put this on default, make sure this is on default. So that's the biggest thing that I want to quickly point out, and we're going to be using hard flats anyway. So anyway, cover for quarters, and we're going to leave the match on just because um, with a 20-yard zone dropped flat, it will make the zone coverage play better as a whole. Now, the primary setup to stop the run is we are just going to show blitz. As you see, it brings, it brings really good alignment to the safeties in the corners, which is why I do it. We're going to pinch our D-line, crash our D-line underneath, spread our linebackers, and we're going to shade outside and underneath. Now, the last step, and really the couple keys here, you can pass commit, and you want to stand about right here. Now, you have a couple different options and things you can do, but in general, you want to stand about right here. You can man your uh, user up to the running back, and when you do that, what you want to do is you're going to hit X or A on, on uh, PlayStation or Xbox, and then you're going to flick your right joystick up, and instead of manning them up on anybody... You're just going to hold your joystick in the direction that you want him to run. So if you think it's going to be a run to the right, we're going to hold him down and to the right. What you're going to see is this allows us to shoot the stretch super easy, and we're able to stop this for a negative five-yard run. So now that we've taken away the run, one of the things we have to take a look at here is can we take away the pass as well? As you see right here, this would be an obvious bubble screen. They would throw the bubble screen. It would be a pretty good game. So the way you're going to take away the bubble screen is – we're going to just simply pass commit. So we're going to crash down. We're going to shade. Everything's the same. Shade out, shade underneath. Pass commit. And then you're going to stand about right here. And you can man your user up and then hold in preset. So now what you'll see is if I try to throw this bubble screen out here, that's a zero AP lurk artist. Oftentimes, that's a pick six. The, one, the reason I like the hard flat instead of the man up is because, number one, it's better for other things they could do from a passing perspective. And number two, as long as you pass commit, this will stop the bubble screen, okay? You have to shade out, shade out. You have to shade outside and underneath, and you have to pass commit. That will really help with the bubble screens. Now, let's say that they run something else. So let's say they run like a dive, for example. Well, all you're going to do is if they run a dive into this front, they're crazy because the dive is super not open. And then we'll go over the other run that they can utilize at a single back wing slot real quick, and then we'll talk about some other formations. And we're going to get to the jet stuff and, and all that, so just hang with me. But uh, let's talk about single back wing slot, and let's talk about the zone alert bubble. So same exact setup, show blitz, pinch D-line, spread linebackers, shade out, shade underneath, pass commit, and then I like to man my user up to the running back here. And you could also put him in a deep blue. Either put him in a deep blue or man him up to the running back. And what you'll see is you can kind of just loop around, and you're able to stop the run. So this is really the best way to stop – the Colts single back wing slot style runs. Now let's get into another formation that we're starting to see grow in popularity. And that is a single back wing tight. It's got a couple different things that are really, that makes it really good. It's got the, uh, it's got this 26 duo. It's got a stretch. It's also got a straight up dive and it's got a jet sweep. So it's got a lot of different ways in which it can attack the defense. Uh, we're going to first start out with talking about stretch. It's probably the easiest runs to stop from this 4-3 even style defense. So, again, uh, show blitz, pinch D-line, shade down, 
or shade outside, shade underneath, and then you can crash your line down, and then you can put your user in a deep blue or man him up to the running back. Now here they're strong to the right side, so we're going to kind of preset and like kind of lurk towards the right, snap the ball, we see stretch, and you see again, it's kind of the same result that we got with wing slot. We're able to stop the stretch in the backfield for a relatively little, you know, low, low gain uh, or even a loss. Okay, what if they run weak side? So again, I'm not going to preset to the right. I'm going to actually going to just kind of like I would in, in game, right? We're going to be automatically jumping to the right, but now they run to the left. I'm going to quickly reverse, and then as you see, I can get over here and kind of muddy it up. Now, to me, the stretch to the left side is probably the best run in this and probably the run that you need to be most prepared to stop. So what I would really say is, again, if you're going to preset this guy and hold him like this, you're going to go to the right at the snap. You better be ready to recover and get back to the left side. As you see, if you're able to recover, this could be a, a negative yard, negative three yard gain. Okay. So that is the stretch out of this formation. Let's talk about the 26 duo. So 26 duo, a little bit of a different blocking scheme. And first and foremost, again, I do think it is really important to crash your D line down. It'll free up your user. Basically by crashing your D line down, you're going to be shooting uh, essentially off of the left guard or the right guard. So in this example here, he's going to run in the ball to the right. We're going to shoot right out of that right guard. You see we're able to blow that up for a negative two-yard run. And then if we run that same exact run play to the left side, you should see we're going to be able to do the same thing over there on the left side. So again, what we're going to do here is I'm manned up to the running back, and we're going to be presetting to the right. But if we see it's going to be stopped, so we're going to loop back around left. So boom. You see the guard comes in. I just got to, you know, basically make that tackle a little quicker. But you see we're able to stop that run as well. So, you know, at this point you're saying, you know, okay, so what can they actually do to run the ball against this? Well, again, where's your primary shoot? You're going to shoot here or you're going to shoot here, generally speaking, with the way most runs work in this game. So you can even stand back a little bit if you want to. Now, what we're going to look at now is a – inside zone to the left or to the right so you see here here's inside zone same exact kind of very similar shoot to what we saw out of 26 duo you also don't have to stand like super down here as long as you're sending four or even five so what we're going to do is we're going to man this guy up and now we're going to be back here a little bit and we'll pass commit so the, if they were if you were going to get any pancakes this would be basically how that would happen what you'll see here we're able to just get a clean shoot and again you're basically looping around the guard to whichever side that the ball is ran to. So this makes it super hard for the line because you just have a, I mean, you literally have a nine-man box with a outside corner that's really close to the line of scrimmage as well. So it just makes it a, a significant numbers advantage for you. Now, let's go over the jet sweep. I think this is, you know, one of those runs, kind of fluky, but again, how would we shoot this? Where's the hole going to be? We're going to shoot right there. So if we see jet sweep, it's a little bit of a giveaway because he's going to go in motion. So we know it's jet sweep. So we're presetting to the right, snap the ball, and we're able to shoot right back there and cause a fumble. So that is how you stop all of the major runs out of the Colts playbook. We'll talk about the Jets playbook in a minute. All right, guys, we got the Jets playbook up here. We're going to be going over some I-form stuff. First and foremost, we will touch on the single back wing pair uh, and the wing flex close. Those are very similar. We, we can't even touch on deuce close, actually, now that I think about it. I forgot I had that in here. But let's uh, let's talk about this real quick. So we got the stretch and we have the dive. Those are the main runs you'll get out of this. And this one is probably the most, you know, just, I don't know, just need to touch on this. So anyways, cover four quarters. Again, the setup is show blitz, pinch D-line, crash D-line inside, spread linebackers, shade outside, shade underneath, and then you're going to user this guy. Now, what I like to do is either blit him in a deep blue or man him up on the running back, and you're going to pre basically preset him. So the way you preset him is you're going to hit X or A, you're going to flick the right joystick up, and then you're not going to man him up on anybody. So you're going to basically go like you're going to man him up to somebody, but you're not going to man him up to somebody, and it allows you to move him without him moving. So when the ball snapped, he's going to move. Now, where are we Where are we shooting? Basically right outside that right guard. So you see right here, able to shoot the stretch in the backfield for a loss of five yards. So not a whole lot to talk about that's very different than wing slot in terms of this single back stuff, which is why I'm going to get into – uh, the I form here in a minute. But again, if it's dive, where are we shooting? We're really just taking that away because there's four bodies crashing to the middle of the field. So they should be able to take away a lot of the running lanes. Okay. Now let's talk about I form and then we'll touch on, uh, we'll touch on a couple other things at the end here. So, and we will talk about some of the I form wing stuff as well. 
So anyways, here's cover four quarters. Again, same exact thing. Now, what's important here is there's a bubble screen threat. So because there's a bubble screen th threat, you need to be pass committing this, and you need to be shading outside and underneath. And again, you're manning up to the running back here, and what you'll see to the left side, see how he will run out there, and now you, you basically will be able to stop that. It'll be even better if they try to run this to the wide side of the field because the, the player will be able to get out there a little bit more. If you really, really want to stop the RPO aspect of this, um, what you can also do is just man up that RPO with that safety, and everything else is the same on the run. So, again, it gets a specific formation like I, I slot where there's actually an RPO threat. You need to be concerned about that. So then, and as you can see, where am I shooting? I'm still shooting the same shoot. It's out, I'm just looping to the run side guard. So what do I mean by looping, looping to the run side guard? Essentially, what I'm trying to get at here, guys, is where's the hole to shoot? It's basically right behind this guy or right behind this guy. So when I, if I see the run to the left, I'm shooting right into this gap. If I shoot run to the right, I'm shooting right into this gap. Whether it's a dive, a stretch, a power, it doesn't really matter to me uh, at all, really. It does not really matter to me. So you'll see here, I see run to the right, see how I get out here, and we're able to kind of muddy up the run, run lanes. Okay? Okay. Now let's talk about like if there's not a threat of an RPO and let's say they're in a formation that's really a more power run set. We'll get to I-Form Wing in just a minute. I just want to go over I-Form Close just in case you ever face this because it does have some power O's. So we got power O, 95 Mike. We got stretch. We got the zone toss. Do we have a, a dive out of this? We do have dive. I'm going to put dive where stretch is and then we'll come out and stretch. So we'll be able to show you all of the ways they could run the ball. Okay, so cover four quarters. Again, the setup. So we don't have an RPO thread in this formation. So what we're going to do is we're just going to show blitz, pinch D-line, crash down, spread linebackers, shade out, shade underneath. We're not going to pass commit because we don't have an RPO threat. And again, where are we trying to shoot with our user? We're trying to shoot right here or we're trying to shoot right here depending on, on where they go. Okay, so what you'll see, snap of the ball, and we're going to shoot here. And as you can see, the cool part about this formation and what makes it super good is these outside linebackers being on the line of scrimmage. It allows them to really set the edge well, especially if you don't pass commit. So if you don't pass commit and there's not a threat of an RPO, this becomes really simple because these outside backers, they're going to set the edge for you. So if they run stretch here to the left side, again, you're just taking the cut back away because the edge is set by those outside guys. So all you have to do is basically just take away that, that cutback or that juke bat that, that a lot of people like to do, okay? So that's stretch. Let's talk about other runs. So power O, we haven't talked about that yet. Now you have a pulling guard here. This one to me is probably the best. As you can see, what it does do is it kind of pins the four down lineman to the left, and it really does do a pretty good job. So I think this one is the one you have to be the most concerned about, but oftentimes you can still get that. See how the safety comes in? That's why you want to be in cover four quarters. Now, one little tip that I've saved and I haven't really talked about because I really haven't needed to, but when you see a run, especially out of a formation like this, what you want to do is when the ball is snapped, you want to click your right joystick in. I've been doing this for several years, and I've been talking about this every single year. When you click the right joystick in, it is going to send the zone coverage defenders, and it's going to basically communicate to everybody that it's a run play. So it's kind of similar to like sending the spy in on a pass play. It's going to blitz them. When you click that right joystick in and it's a run play, everybody will react. So I see run. I'm clicking that right joystick in. You see the safeties will come down and they'll be able to take away those power lanes that are really kind of open, honestly. Um, it's, it's by far the best run, in my opinion, against this is this little power O. So you see here, same thing to the left now. Left side, it's not going to be as good because you don't have a tight end. The tight end is really what makes it a good run. Okay? So that is uh, that is the power O. We talked about stretch. We'll talk about this 95 mic real quick from an iPhone because you haven't really seen something like that. Again, you're just clicking the right joystick in as you're running down, and you see that one is going to be pretty muddy. It's going to be very difficult to get that one going. As you probably see here, the best run really is the I-form um, or the power row, in my opinion. It, it really is. So you see here again, it's pretty easy shoot. And again, there's so much sheds that are going to happen. So you, you're kind of okay. You just have to make sure that they can't get out of there before the sheds happen. And again, that's why you're clicking that right stick in because that's going to – and you want to force – where you want to force the ball carrier is back to the middle of the field. 
right? You want to force the ball carrier back to the middle of the field, which is where all of your help is. So what we're looking at, again, where's our, where's our responsibility? It's really this gap here and it's this gap here. So if it's a run to the right, where am I going to go with my user? Even if I get blocked, I'm going to go over here to the lane, take that away and force him to either, you know, run through me or cut back where I have help. Okay, we've talked really about ISO a lot. There's not a whole lot here uh, that we haven't really touched on, but let's go over ISO real quick. You see, I mean, you just it would be crazy of them to run the ball into that front. It really would. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. The last run that I want to go over in terms of under center before we get to the heavy sets is a, like a zone toss. This is basically stretch. It's really not that good of a run play, okay? Okay, so last formation that we want to talk about today is the I-form wing or some of those big heavy sets. So what we're going to get out of I-form wing typically is we got a stretch, a halfback lead. We have a power G in here, I believe. And then there's really no RPO either in this one. Okay, so because there's no RPO, it makes it a little simpler in terms of our defense because we don't have to pass commit. So same exact setup, show blitz, pinch line, spread linebackers, shade out, shade underneath, crash down. And then you're going to user this guy. And again, I like to give myself a little bit of space. So, you know, I don't want to be up here. I want to kind of shoot down. So I actually don't like those pass rush bars above my head if I'm trying to play a good run defense. So you see here, stretch. It's basically the same shoot we've been showing you every single formation throughout this little tutorial. We're able to stop that. And then let's talk about stretch to the other side. So if it's stretched to the left, you'll see same kind of principle again. And this is also one little pro tip for this. If you don't have this in your settings, I've done a ton of videos this year talking about the best settings in Madden. You need to be having Heat Seeker Assist or Heat Seeker on. It really helps with the run defense. And they will literally run the guy to the ball carrier. Here's Power G, as you see, one of the better runs. And, and honestly, probably the best run. So if I was defending I-Form Wing, one of the things that I want to give you that I would recommend is I would go ahead and I would probably blitz the linebacker off of the right side, okay? Because that's going to help set the edge a little better. And I'd probably honestly just play a little cover too. So you see this is what it looks like? Because again, the one run that can hurt me is the power G to the right. So I need to be aware of that. And my user really needs to kind of come over here, you see? And then a lot of times that does happen where we get that shoot through the pulling guard. So, you know, you don't have to be too, too concerned about this. But it is something that I would still, you know, kind of just, I don't know, just like think through. But in general, if you blitz that linebacker, I find that it helps significantly in stopping this run. The other thing about Power G is they can't run it to the left. They cannot run Power G to the left. It's not a flippable run play. Okay? So that pretty much takes care of that. Just by blitzing that linebacker, you're going to have that pretty much taken care of. Uh, so, again, you would just need to, you know, put either the safety in a hard flat in the third and then shade underneath or... And if you did that, you would want a middle third, or you could put a half and a hard flat, and then you could blitz the linebacker like this. And typically, that will take away this power G. As you see, that guy shot it three out of three times, okay? The next little uh, run from this formation that we really have to face, really, it's just, those are the main ones. Um, the halfback lead, of course, but I'm trying to flip this to the left side. You see that I can't. Let's talk real briefly about halfback lead. So if they do run this, again, you're manned up here, and you see he's going to shoot in. So that is pretty much how you can literally stop every single run in the game with the same defensive adjustments. Feel free to adapt your coverage behind it. These guys don't have to be in quarters. So if you want to, let's say you're playing a defense like this, you could go with a hook curl to the left. You could go with the middle third to the right, you know, if you want to do whatever you want. But this is, in my opinion, the most consistent way to basically eliminate the run game and force them to either run out of shotgun or force them to pass, which is going to make defense much easier for you. If you want to learn my entire 6-1 defense view, but kind of stop all kinds of stuff from this defense, join the Patreon. The link's in the description down below. $10 will get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.